Hi, I'm Melinda with Nature Photography with a Purpose and this video is on how global warming actually works. So let's get started. Um, the Earth's orbit is um, predominantly circular to elliptical. Um, that takes about 50,000 years to go between the two. Um, this is very important because it correlates to glacier um, and interglacial periods, meaning out here we're more in a glacier type period. Obliquity refers to that the Earth is not perpendicular on its axis, it actually tilts towards the Sun um, and it varies between 22.1 degrees to 24.5 degrees allowing more or less radiation into the atmosphere. Then we have the troposphere which is the atmosphere in which you and I live in predominantly made up of nitrogen, oxygen, argon. These gases do not absorb radiation. There are gases that do absorb radiation. H2O, CO2, methane being natural sources. CFCs are man-made gases. These actually live for hundreds to thousands of years and make it up into the stratosphere where the ozone layer is. The ozone layer is needed because it helps reflect back some of the radiation that's coming from the sun. The ozone um, is being depleted by the CFCs. Um, Ice cores, um, they've been analyzing the atmosphere as far back as 800,000 years. The natural occurrence of CO2 and methane, CO2 has been between 200 and 300 parts per million, methane 400 to 700 parts per billion, that's B with a boy. Presently, 6 billion people have had an effect. <laughs> 380 parts per million, methane 1800 parts per billion. The sink for like CO2 for instance, the ocean, um, can't absorb the excess, so it's starting to accumulate. Again, a certain amount is needed. Glacier, interglacier period, gone way past that. How does all this work? Solar radiation comes in at very short wavelengths and is either absorbed or reflected back. It's the reflecting back um, in the longer wavelengths that those gases, CO2, methane, begin to absorb that radiation slowly releases it back out into the atmosphere or releases it back down into the atmosphere. It's the release back down into the atmosphere that warms us up. Again, a certain amount is needed, otherwise it's just way too cold here. There has been a natural window in longer wavelengths where radiation just comes in and just goes right back out. It helps um, maintain an equilibrium within the atmosphere. Um, but the man-made gases have slowly but surely been filling that up. So um, we really do need to be studying this. Six billion people are definitely having an effect, a, a very drastic effect on the atmosphere and this whole warming effect. Um, so I hope you found this very interesting. You at least now have a general idea of what's going on. Again, um, I'm Melinda with Nature Photography with a Purpose. Um, you can find the information on my website. Sorry, 